Hey guys, this is Christopher with another on-shape tutorial. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to make a bolt. The past couple videos, I've shown how to use the sweep, revolve, and extrude tools. And this will be like a review of all three of those. And I'll also talk about the helix and a couple other things. So we'll get started with a sketch in the top plane. And we'll begin by making an inscribed polygon for the head of our bolt. So, once we place our polygon, we can decide how many sides we want it to have. It'll be a hexagon head bolt, so six sides. And we can define our distance. I will make it a half inch head bolt. And now we want to extrude it up. And it'll be 3 sixteenths high. Now we have the head of the bolt. We're going to create another sketch to make the shaft. And rather than placing it on one of these planes, I'm just going to put it directly on top of the bolt, on this face. And you're going to extrude this circle into a cylinder, which will be the shaft of the screw. And I'm going to be making a quarter 28 bolt so the major diameter of the shaft will be a quarter of an inch. And just like before, we can extrude this, but this time I'll leave it at one inch. And now we have our rough bolt shape. I'm going to modify the head a little bit to make it look a little nicer. So I'll add another sketch on the back of this. and. I'll make two circles, one which will snap to the outside of or the uh, line there, and another one that's just bigger than the maximum diameter of this bolt head. I'll just define it at one inch. So now you're going to extrude it. But rather than just extruding up, we're going to extrude at an angle this way and this way. So, first we need to select what we want to extrude. And now we need to tell it to remove. And it's going to make a circular part out of our hexagon, although don't want to do that. We want to extrude an angle, not straight down. So we'll make a draft, which now you can see it's angled in a little bit. We want it to be angled out, and we want it to be a much larger angle. And you can see it cuts these corners a little bit when we do that. And it gives a really nice look to the head. So I'll do the same thing under here, place a sketch there, and create our two circles. Then select everything that needs to be extruded, tell it to remove, add a draft, make it 60 degrees, and make sure it's going the right direction. Oops. There. Now both sides have their corners removed. Now that we're finished with the head, we're going to start cutting the threads on this. We'll be using the helix tool, which creates a spiral all the way down the shaft. And we're going to select this one. Um, and it says that we have four rotations around, which means one, two, three, four times it wraps. But we want, because this is 20, it's a quarter 28, and it's one inch long, it means we will have 28 wraps. Oops. Ah, I made two. Okay. So we want 28 wraps. It'll look like that. Although, if you had a screw that was not exactly one inch and easy to calculate with um, by 
just taking that number. You could do the pitch, which would be, in our case, 1 divided by 28. And even if we had our shaft to be 2 inches long, we still have 28 threads per inch. But if we had as 28 turns, see now we only have 14 threads per inch. So I'm going to do it in terms of pitch. That way, no matter what length we have our bolt, it's always going to be the same pitch. Now we have our spiral. We are going to do a sweep. Um, but we need a profile to cut into the spiral to make our threads. So we need to find the end of this, this helix, which is right there. And we will add a sketch in the plane that intersects that. So the end is right there, so we need a sketch right there. And so what we'll use to cut the threads will be a triangle, and threads are normally done at a 60 degree angle, so if we set all of these equal to each other, then we get an equilateral triangle which has 60 degrees for all of its angles. And now we need to position this point on the end of our helix so that it will follow that path. We will we'll use the Pierce constraints because these are not in the same plane and we'll set this point onto that path. And now this won't move from the helix. Now the last thing we need to do is set this distance which is going to be the same as the pitch. And our pitch is 1 divided by 28. The only problem is if we do this, and this distance, and that distance are exactly the same, then we will have some infinitely small geometry, um, and it doesn't like that. So instead, we're just going to round down to 35 thousandths, and you can barely notice any difference, but there will be a slight flat spot on the crest of our thread. Now we have our path and our profile. We can create our sweep. Now it's adding material. We want to remove and accept. And our threads are cut into the shaft. Now when we zoom in here, you can see this distance, this flat spot, all the way along, and down here it tells us that it is seven-tenths of a thousandth wide, which is almost nothing. It wouldn't even be visible. So, now we have the threads cut. The last thing I'm going to do is use a revolve to create a chamfer on the tip of the bolt, so we don't have a sharp corner there. It'll feed into a hole easier. So I'm going to create a sketch here, and then make a triangle that will be revolved. And I'm also going to make the axis a revolution, and make it construction line. Now we need to define, define everything. Uh, by setting these two sides equal, uh, now this angle is 45 degrees. We can set its position And the last dimension would be how big we want the chamfer to be. And I'll make it a 32nd of an inch. And last, we can 
select our profile and our axis and instead of adding that triangle in we want to remove all that material and now we have no more sharp corners at the top and it would feed into a hole very nicely so this is our completed bolt looks pretty good well I hope this was a good review for you and I hope you learned a lot from this video and if you did please like and subscribe